some notes about sharing. So first of all, sharing edit access to a report doesn't necessarily grant access, edit access to reusable data sources within that. So I create a reusable data source to my Google Analytics, and I create a report based on that. If I share edit access to report with someone, they do not necessarily be granted access to also edit that Google Analytics data source. They cannot create custom fields in it. They cannot change the owner. They cannot change the data freshness setting or anything that an editor can actually perform in a data source. So if you want to do it, and if you want to completely give someone edit access to a report and the data sources within, there are two options. One of them is to share edit access to the reusable data source separately. So basically by going to datastudio.google.com and under data sources tab, you find your data source, you click on it. And just like the report, you will have the sharing option for your data source as well. So you can add people, can view, can edit, manage access, whoever has link, you're getting, you're giving access to the reports to, you can put them here and also give them access to edit the data source as well. And sometimes it's just enough. You might not want to share the report itself. You just want to create a data source and connect it to an account that you already have access to, and then share edit or view access to that data source with someone in your team so that they can use it to start creating a new report. So this is, this has always been the case. So I had access to some data sources. The client didn't want me to share access to that data source within my organization with my team. So I had to create that data source myself, like literally sit and create that data source, connect it, authorize it, et cetera. But then the data source, I could actually give edit access or view access to my team so they can use it to create the report. That was about sharing edit access. We already talked about being careful with notifications when we share with someone, especially if you're sharing with a large group of people. Remember to note the owners versus viewers credentials when you share the data sources and reports, especially reports. Because if you go back to the data sources session, you will see, and you might already know that we have two types of credentials on a data source, owner's credentials versus viewer's credentials. If I create my data source and use owner's credentials, because I'm the owner of the data source, right? That data source always uses my credentials to the underlying data set, my access to Google Analytics, my access to Facebook ads, to Google ads. And it's just enough for me to share view access to that report. And anyone who's viewing that report, the report will use my access, grab data from that source, provide the visuals to the viewer. Through. But if I put my data sources in viewers credentials, then I need to make sure that the people that I'm sharing the report to or with to view the report, they also have access to the underlying data set. So for example, I create a data source to a Google Analytics account, right? But I put it on viewers credentials. Then I create a report based on that and I share the report with people, but people do not have access to that Google Analytics account. So when they view the report, they cannot use, the data source cannot use their credential to grab data from Google Analytics, from the underlying data source. And the report will be viewable to those people, but the charts will be broken. So always think about it and be mindful of your data sources. What is the credentials before you're sharing with people? And finally, if we're embedding the reports, just keep in mind that community visualizations, they do not work in 